Hi everyone, it's Nicolette here from Journey and Daughters in Remuera, your home for premium chalk paint and furniture decor in Auckland. So today I thought I would jump on and show you kind of what we are doing at the moment. Um, I'm working on a commission in the shop using this beautiful um, blue here. This is old denim. And then I will be adding some coloured waxes to it. So this is for some bedsides. So as always, if you have any questions, pop them in the comments and we'll get back to you. And then this will also be saved on our blog, um, on our website, along with everything else. So to start with, I painted just this sample board here, the whole thing in old denim, and I will show you kind of the process, I suppose, that we're going to be doing um, for these bedsides that I'm painting in this. So... To start, I'm just going to show you what it looks like with clear wax. So this is all unsealed. Um, yeah, it's just the straight chalk paint, just your standard chalk paint um, got here. So I've got my clear wax. Um, the artisan one, it's really nice, brushes out really nicely. So it looks like that. And I have my wax brush. A little bit stained at the moment but that's fine and then I have my lint free rag and I've just folded it um, so it is nice and smooth so for the first part just your standard clear wax put some wax here on your brush and I'm just going to do this bit here and brush it out brushing it out in all different directions and wiping the excess off so that's waxing, super simple, super easy. Um, and you can see it'll dry down a little bit, but you can see it's just deep in the color. So this here is the true color, and this is the unsealed version. Um, so it's a bit deeper, and yeah, it is now ready to go. But we're gonna do colored waxes on this. So I'll just put this to the side, and we're gonna be doing two different colored waxes. So the first one, I'm going to use Beluga. So it is one of our really nice white whites. Um, it's got a little bit of a grey base, which is perfect um, for the old denim because, again, it has a little bit of a grey undertone. So, oh, sorry, but I've got some baking paper here. So when you're making coloured waxes, you always just want to make them on a flat surface. Um, I'm just going to rip this in half. Don't need that much. Um, but yeah, so on a flat surface so that you don't get any marbling in your uh, wax. You don't want to, uh, to not be fully mixed and then to accidentally brush it on streaks of paint and get paint in your, or over your finish and have to redo it. Um, so on a flat surface, we like using the baking paper because it's nice and easy and clean. But we also use um, our ceramic plates. Um, they wash up really well, so that's another good option um, to use at home. So just with a stick, and I'm pretty sure you can see, yeah, here, um, just going to decant. I'm not going to need much because I am just going to be doing this other side. Um, so decant some of your wax onto your piece. And the artisan wax is really nice. It doesn't really smell much at all um yeah so you can use it inside and you don't come in well into the shop anymore and it smells highly of wax which is really nice um so i just got another stick and i'm just going to stir my beluga you know always do you always do your paint um and then kind of eyeballing it but i'm going to do um about a one-to-one -one, yeah that should be fine um, about a one-to-one -one of my paint to wax so hopefully it's, you can kind of see but so that's on there and then literally mixing it all together it kind of is like icing um, so all nicely mixed just making sure you don't have any bits of paint I'll just put my lid back on there okay so that is now ready to go. Um, you can see up there. And when you, so one thing with the waxes, um, if you're not sure if you have added too much paint or not, 
pick it up in your finger and you can rub it together and it will still feel waxy it won't feel like uh, tacky I suppose like a paint wood it'll still feel like that slipperiness so I'm just going to move my little piece of tape this is just your standard um, your standard tape uh, that you get um, painters tape and I'm just going to pop it on just so that we can see the difference so nothing overly exciting okay cool so I'm going to paint this whole part here that hasn't been waxed yet I'm not paint wax um, so I've loaded up my brush we put too much on um, but literally just brush it all out um, always when you're waxing go in all directions so that your wax does get in to everything and then using a clean side of your rag just pull it off and it's just lightly taking it off you might want to take more from one area than another um, oh, folded this one differently yeah and there we go we can see see the difference you can see the white has gone into um, kind of my bevels here and you can just see how much lighter that is now I'm also going to do for this piece because this is really the concept around uh, some bedsides that we're doing which I'll, I'll share when they're all finished and picked up um, I'm going to do another colored wax using obsidian blue so this is um, one of our darkest blues the next one up would be Ocean Trench, but this, yeah, is a bit more of a true blue. Um, so this time, just a sm real small amount of wax. And then I'll get my blue paint. Give it, oh, whoops. Give it a quick stir. I don't want to get like extra bits through them there. Um, and again, I'll move this so you can see. Um, really it's eyeballing but about a one-to-one -one, if not a little bit stronger so we've already now sealed this is fully sealed so this is going to be more of a decorative wax and it can be a little bit stronger um, over the top so you can see really nice deep and blue and I am just going to use the same brush, I think. We'll see. And I'm just going to take the excess wax off with my rag and get my rag moved around to a nice clean spot. There we go. Okay, so I've got this. So this is clear wax. This is beluga. So old denim with clear wax, old denim with beluga colored wax. And then I'm just going to take this off and just do one more quick tape because um, then you can see the difference between all of them. So about there. Probably not going to stick perfectly, but it's okay. Right. Cool. So again put some wax on my brush and just brush it out and I'm just going to concentrate in some areas and then very lightly take off the excess and so this is really small if I was doing something a bit bigger I'd probably be a bit more uh, planned or when I do the bed size actually it'll be a bit more thought out of where I'm going to put the different colors um, but you can see it's kind of mixed in the bevels I've got some steel wool so I can pull back a little bit um, I'll take the tape off so you can see so you can see the difference so you've got just clear wax 
and then you've got the white and then you've got the mix and you can just see kind of that movement um, I might clean up these bits this is just super fine steel wool might just pull them back a little bit and there you go it's subtle it looks uh, more in person and you can add a bit more you can add as many layers of wax as you want and then just oops, get to a clean bit of rag and just really lightly take take it off so yeah so I hope that kind of shows a little bit around the waxing how to make some colored waxes um, you can keep layering um, you might sometimes want to leave it between layers if you're a bit unsure like what you're doing or if you might want to um, let it dry a bit if you're doing quite a lot of layers um, you can always pull back steel wool if you make a huge mistake you can just get some clear wax on your brush or on your rag and pull it back it works like an eraser yeah I hope that's like a good little intro to coloured waxes and as I said I will share this is the concept for some bedsides I'm doing um, and I will share those when they're all finished and picked up um, and if you have any questions please just let us know we're always here to help um, and also we have just set up a Facebook group um, so we will share like a few different bits and pieces and stuff from our homes and for you to share um, projects and ideas and everything so yeah if you're into that jump onto our group we're there to help you with all your questions um, and it's it's from me from the shop doing your daughters so um, it's not just to do with paint it's also to do with decoupage and all of the kind of fun stuff that we sell here in the shop um, and probably some interiors because I'm gonna be doing up my home a little bit so some stuff around that too anyway I hope you all have a wonderful afternoon and we will jump back on and talk to you again soon. See you.